developer face numerous challenges when it comes to building applications that use large language models or LLMs, in particular the scarcity of GPUs, which are traditionally required for running LLMs, poses a significant hurdle. Google Cloud is introducing tools and methods to run large language models locally within their cloud workstation environments without needing GPUs. So this makes AI development more accessible and cost-effective. Today, we'll be looking at Local LLM, which is a tool developed by Google, and how you can use CPU and memory instead of GPUs. So before we get into the video, a few of the key benefits are there are no GPU bottlenecks, so developers can build powerful AI-driven applications without the common obstacle of needing graphics card. There's improved development efficiency, so local development streamlines the process, letting you avoid managing remote servers or external services. Third, reduced costs. So since you don't need to pay for expensive GPU, whether locally or for remote instances in the cloud, development cost decreases significantly. And last is the enhanced security. So keeping your models and data local can improve security compared to sharing them with external services. So let's look at local LLM. So this is an article from Google Cloud dated February 6, 2024. I know this is almost end of April, but I finally was able to test local LLM out. So that's why the video is out now. And I wanted to increase awareness, you know, if you don't have GPUs yourself, or if you want to use Google Cloud workstations. So you can see the title of the article is No GPU, No Problem. Local LLM lets you develop Gen AI apps on local CPUs. So I'll link the blog or the article link in the description. So if you want to use cloud workstations, you can go ahead and read this article. It tells you how you can set it up. But I'll be using it locally. So on my own machine, just keep in mind, you have the ability to use Google Cloud instances without GPUs. So let's look at the GitHub repo, which is called Local LLM. And the rename of this utility is now to local-llm. So that's how the commands will run in our terminal instead of just local LLM without the dash. So as you can see, there is a readme that allows you to set this project up again in the cloud but what i'll be doing is using it locally so if we scroll down you'll see that there is a list of steps to run this locally so what i'm going to do is go up clone this repo locally run up my terminal here increase the window size and go into github where is i store all my source control code and then clone this repo. So there we go. So it has been cloned to local LLM. Let's CD into it. And now let's activate the virtual environment. Again, since this is based on Python, you'll need a virtual environment to dis install dependencies. So I'll be initiating my virtual environment in .venv directory. Hit enter. So it'll take a few seconds to initiate this. And now what I can do is activate this so scripts slash activate inside my vnv will activate the virtual environment now if you look at the next steps for running this locally you can see we need to install openai and we can install from the source the local dash llm so pip install openai let's wait for that to happen okay and now we'll also do pip install local LLM. Okay, this is also where you'll run into some issues or errors if you're doing the local LLM install. And what I have drilled down to, so if you're troubleshooting, first of all, make sure your pip version is the latest. So you're using pip 24. I think the list is the latest version. I was using pip 20 or something and I was getting some errors. So doing an upgrade on PIP helped me resolve those errors. The next is you also need the Microsoft C++ build tools. So I'll link this down below, but you can go to Visual Studio 
Microsoft.com and get the C++ build tools. These are necessary to build the local LLM tool locally, right? So yeah, make sure you have installed the C++ C++ build tools. I'll also show some screenshots and include them in the post on what is necessary before you run the pip install local LLM command. So those are some key takeaways. What I found, you know, could be, could give you an error. Now that our local LLM has been built and installed, what we can do is pull some hugging face models to run it locally, and it'll use the CPU and memory instead of GPU. So if we go back to the repo, you can see to download and run a model, you basically run local LLM run and the hugging face model itself, and also mention the port at the end. So you can look for different models that you can run. Here they have included the Llama 2 example, but you can also run latest Microsoft Phi 3 or Phi 3 model, which I have been testing out, um, but I haven't run it with local LLM. So maybe that's what I will do now is local dash LLM. And I'm specifically running the Phi 3 mini 4K instruct Q4, which is this file right here. So let me go back and hit enter. And the port I'm using is 8000. So what this will do if the model is not pulled already, it will pull it down. So download it and then run it. But if you just want to download it, you can do local dash LLM space pull and the same thing. You don't have to mention the port 8000 since we'll not be running the model with the pull command. So if I hit enter, you can see that now it's running the model on port 8000. So what the repo includes is also a query local.py file. So let me zoom in. There we go. And this is just a script to try hitting local LLM endpoints. You know, it already knows that it's running at port 8000 because that's what we mentioned in the command based on the instructions. And you can see that it'll write a haiku about cats. So let's run this query in our terminal. Hit enter. And there you go. You can see it says whiskers twitch at dawn, silent pause on the farm floor, nine lives dance with grace. That's what it generated. The other cool thing is you also get docs that you can access by running these locally. So if you go to localhost 8000 slash docs, you can see llama.cpp, Python API. These are all the different endpoints you can hit. So, you know, you have the completions endpoint, how you can use, there are some instructions and you have embeddings, chat completions, tokenize, tokenize count. So a lot of different endpoints that you can use with your LLM now running locally. Similarly, if you go to Hugging Face, you can look for other models that you want to run. But in a nutshell, local LLM lets you run these without needing a GPU. And you can do this same thing with a cloud instance, right? Because cloud instances that have dedicated GPU are expensive. Whereas if you have a cloud VM that doesn't have a GPU, you know, is going to cost a lot less. So it's an amazing tool if you are working with AI and ML. We have the local dash LLM utility running locally, which allows us to run large language models from hugging face with CPU and memory and no GPUs. So I hope you find this video insightful. To support this channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.